My name is Hadi Shafi'i and our team is working on developing a low-cost diagnostic tool for HIV management in developing countries. One of the major challenges in this battle against HIV is the lack of appropriate diagnostic tools for HIV management in developing countries where 70% of the 35 million HIV infected individuals live. We have now invented an easy to use microchip technology that can measure HIV viral load within a few minutes. This handheld device can detect and count HIV viruses in a finger prick blood that is placed on a disposable paper with flexible electrodes. Microchips can be mass produced because we are able to print microelectrodes on paper using conductive inks for just a few pennies per chip. And the device can be also potentially connected to a cell phone to transmit the data to a central laboratory or a physician for further counseling. This technology will have significant impact on lives of millions of people around the world by providing time-sensitive HIV viral load test results literally at our fingertips. My name is Nassim Annabi. Our team has developed a stretchy surgical glue which can be used to seal and close wounds uh, after surgeries. Uh, there are approximately more than 60 million uh, surgical procedures in the United States per year. After an operation, a surgeon um, usually uses sutures or staples to close the wound. But these techniques are not always effective or even not possible uh, because they are time consuming, they can cause infections. We uh, develop a new uh, type of surgical sealant by using a human protein um, called torpoelastin. We altered this protein to make a highly elastic and light activated glue which can form um, in just a few seconds uh, by shining light onto it. Uh, this uh, glue is very sticky. Uh, it can uh, stick to tissues, different tissues such as lung, um, artery and heart and uh, it moves with the tissue as they continually expand and contract. Having a glue that can um, apply uh, to the target tissue uh, quickly and easily um, can reduce the operation time significantly leading to less uh, complications and um, infections after the surgery. Hi, my name is Alexander Lin and my project is about developing a virtual biopsy that allows us to track chemicals in the brains of athletes who have suffered from concussions. We hear about football players suffering from hundreds uh, to thousands of head injuries over the course of the career, yet we don't understand what are the long-term effects of that. Uh, there's a lot of uh, hype in the media that describes these things, but uh, really we don't really understand what's going on. And so what we want to do is develop this non-invasive window into looking at the brain and measuring the chemical changes that have occurred after this long history of a repetitive head injury. And what we're going to do is provide a uh, fuel such as sugar or in our case acetate and watch as it gets uh, metabolized in the brain and we can track it and see how this differs in patients uh, that have had concussions versus people who haven't. Uh, we're also interested in understanding what's going on uh, in children uh, suffering from head injury. That's really ultimately the most important population and I think by doing these studies we'll better understand what's going to happen uh, in our younger athletes. Uh, we also have people coming back from the war, suffering from brain injuries, and we'll be able to apply these same techniques in them as well. And I think what's particularly interesting about this method is that it'll allow us to understand brain uh, function across a broad range of diseases, not just head injury, but including other diseases like schizophrenia and uh, other neurological disorders.